Do you want a modern and professional text animation that you can use in all your videos? I'll show you how to create it in the fastest and easiest way using DaVinci Resolve. Go to the Media Pool, right-click on an empty space, and select New Fusion Composition. Click Create. Now drag the composition onto the timeline and place it at the beginning. Make sure the playhead is over the clip, and then go to the Fusion tab. First, let's add a background node. This node allows us to create a black background of any color we want. If you want the background to be transparent, you don't need to add it. Connect the output of the background node to the yellow input of the media out node. Perfect. Now, let's add the text. With the background node selected, click the text plus icon in the toolbar. Great, the text node has been added. Place the merge node in the center and the text plus node just above it to keep everything organized. Select the text plus node and in the inspector, type the text you want. I'm going to go with something like animate text. I recommend using the Montserrat font in black style, but feel free to use any font you like. Lastly, adjust the size until it looks good in the viewer. Perfect. Now we're going to add a mask, which will let us animate the text so it appears and disappears. With the Text Plus node selected, click on the rectangular mask icon. Fusion will automatically connect it to the Text Plus node. Adjust the mask so it tightly fits the top and bottom of the text without leaving any space. But on the sides, leave a bit of room in case you want to add longer words later. Alright, let's get started with the animation. Select the Text Plus node again. Right-click on the text box and choose the option Follower. This will let us animate the text word by word. When you select Follower, a new tab called Modifiers will appear. Click it to access the options. Inside, open the Transform menu. And in the Transform option, switch from Characters to Words. Perfect. Let's create the Text Appearance animation. Go to Frame 10 and create a keyframe in the Offset X and Y option. You'll see that a new menu called Path 1 has appeared, but we don't need it, so we'll ignore it. Double-click the follower to open the menu again. To finish the entrance animation, go to frame 0 and reduce the offset Y value until the text disappears through the bottom. Let's play it back and see how the entrance animation looks. All right, the text now appears. Now we'll do the same, but this time to make the text disappear at the end. Place the playhead at frame 30 and create a new keyframe for offset X and Y. Then move to frame 40 and increase the offset Y value until the text disappears through the top. Perfect. Now we have the text appearing and disappearing. At this point, all the words move at the same time but we want them to appear one after another. To do that, we need to add a small delay to the animation, and it's very easy to do. Go back to the Timing tab in the Modifiers menu and increase the delay value to 1.5. Play it again, and now the words appear and disappear one after the other. We've almost finished the animation. We just need the two secret ingredients. Right now, the animation movement is a bit harsh, so we're going to add speed ramps to smooth it out. Open the spline panel located at the top right. Check the box for text one. Click the zoom to fit icon to clearly see all the animation keyframes. Here's the entrance animation and here's the exit. Now simply select all the keyframes, right click on the graph, go to the ease option and choose out cubic. This will automatically apply a speed curve to both animations. Now the word movement will be much smoother. Finally, to give it a more professional finish, let's add motion blur. Select the text plus node, go to the inspector, open the settings tab, enable the motion blur checkbox, and raise the quality to the maximum, 10. And with that, the text animation is completely finished.
You can always change the background color from the background node, and if you prefer it to be transparent, just lower the alpha value to the minimum, or simply delete the node altogether. And the most important part, now that the animation is ready, how can we add more text to create a full sentence? Here's the easiest way to do it. Go back to the edit page, find the frame where the text animation ends, and trim the clip up to that frame. Perfect. Now click on the clip, hold down the Alt key, and drag it to another part of the timeline. Make as many copies as you need. And now all that's left is to customize each piece of the text. Move to the clip you want to modify, go back into Fusion, select the text node, and change the words to whatever you like. Well, that wasn't so hard, and it looks pretty good, right? You might be wondering, do I have to redo the entire animation in Fusion every time I want to use it in another project? The good news is, no. In another video, I'll show you how to save this animation inside DaVinci Resolve so you can use it whenever you need in any project. What are you still doing here? Hurry up, I've got plans later.